We have a very special guest with us here today. Not only is he a University of Akron alum, but he's the true definition of an inspiration. Personal trainer and fitness specialist Nathan Burke is here with us today to tell us about his story. Nathan, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. So first, I just want to ask you, give me a little bit of background and how you got started in the fitness field. Well, it started back with my father. He grew up in fitness in the 70s. He was a bodybuilder. And when we, you know, when we were younger, he got me, my brother, and my sister all involved in sports. We played you know, baseball, um, foot, I was in football. And then from there, he just kind of always wanted us to be physically active. And I even remember back in, you know, my mom too would always give us breakfast mm -hmm. of like, you know, real healthy. We never had junk food. So from there, it just was always like, you know, built into my mind that, you know, mm -hmm. we gotta live well and, you know, work out, be active. So it all pretty much started with my, you know, with my parents basically. So when did you start actually competing in the bodybuilding competitions? My very first show was in 2005. Mm -hmm. It was a natural show, natural meaning, you know, tested for steroids and everything. So it happened in Cleveland. It was um, Lakewood in Cleveland. So that was my very first show. And I was in a middleweight division and I placed in the top five. Um, my very first show, I was pretty happy with that. So, cool. so about eight years now. So. And how many shows would you say you've competed I've in? I've done eight shows, one in 05, mm -hmm. I did um, two in 06, two in 09, and then two in 2011. Wow, okay, now I know that you competed, you had so much success, and then this past year was a little bit tragic for you. You had to go undergo some serious surgeries, you had some family issues. Can you tell us a little bit about that experience? My, my dad ended up passing away from colon cancer in 2010. And so I was kind of devastated there, but I wanted to you know, keep you know, living up to his role, living up to his model. And you know everything he taught me, I wanted to continue on. So, and last it was last year I wanted to compete again. So, um, in two thousand yeah, it was see March of two thousand and twelve. Last year I was getting ready for a competition, and I just noticed that something you know wasn't right. And actually, I had some. What happened was I was diagnosed with two thousand with um, ulcerative colitis in two thousand and eight, mm -hmm. and that's just an inflammation of the colon, and. I was able to treat it with meds real well. I started to train for my competition and what happened was I just was not responding to my meds anymore. I was getting really sick. I was 210 pounds and I just kept losing weight. And from, 2000, from 210 pounds to 160 pounds in a month wow. and a half. And I ended up going in, doctors were, you know, they were trying to treat me with, you know, IV steroids in the hospital to get the inflammation down when nothing was working. So I ended up having to go for surgery in, um, at Akron City. And the whole, the way to get rid of my whole disease was just to remove my entire colon, or my, my large intestine. So I, in April, it was April 3rd of last year, I had my entire large intestine removed. Oh my goodness. So, yes, and, um, and then from there, that was, that was the cure for the disease, which is having the entire intestine removed. And so. it seems like you just continue to have that positive attitude after losing your father and then happen, having it happen to you. Like what, how did you keep that positive attitude throughout this entire experience? It all starts with my faith too. I'm very, I'm very faithful and I'm, you know, my relationship with God has helped me through so much. Positivity was the key. I just knew, you know, your, your body follows the mind. So after, when I was, when I was dealing with all my illnesses, before I had the surgery, there was a couple close calls where I, you know, I almost, I almost passed away like twice. You know, I just got so bad. I was so weak. I was losing all, you know, all sorts of nutrients. And, and I just, no matter what though, I just kept that positive outlook because I knew if I thought anything negative, my, bo my body would follow it. Right. Um, I wouldn't be able to get stronger. And every, so every, no matter what happened when I was in the hospital, I would just tell myself, I'm gonna get through this. You know, I just felt my, you know, I just wanted my dad, I knew he was giving me the strength. I kept praying, you know, God has given me the strength and I just knew that if I just had that positive outlook on what's what I'm dealing with that I was going to get through it. And so now you're back at it, you're back in the gym, I can see you're already back in shape. How did you do that so quickly and so fast and like, you know, keep staying motivated to just keep building yourself back up? Well, you know, after my surgery, it was about six weeks where I really couldn't lift anything heavy or anything, mm -hmm. but you know, I was anxious. I kept asking my surgeon, can I go back and I go back? <laughs> So finally, when I, when I, he gave me the, oh, you know, go ahead to go forward and, you know, I can lift again. I did. And I just was taking it slow at first, you know, with my knowledge and everything about the body and just knowing that, you know, lift light to start with and just gradually build back mm -hmm. up. I just was careful and cautious and I was able to eat again. And I've always been ate healthy and just 
it was pretty much just getting back into the gym and working out about four or five times a week again, my weight training, my cardio, and eating healthy again. So just to wrap up, what's next for you? Are you planning on competing again? Or are you kind of done with that? Are you just going to stick with training? What do you I am planning on competing again. Um, I still got one more surgery to go. Um, this whole surgery was a you know, three-step process, so my, my one more surgery to go would probably be in May, and after that will be my final one, so I'm going to take a whole year to just because I'm, I'm back in physical therapy assistant school. So once I'm done with that, I'll graduate next year. And f after that, I will just try to focus on probably competing again and kind of use that competition, my final competition, if, I, if it is my final one. I just want to compete again to kind of wrap up my whole story because, you know, I, it started with competing and then I got sick right. and I built myself back up. So I kind of want to finish the story and be like, hey, I was able to go back after everything I went to, I was able to go back and get back on that stage and compete again and continue to inspire others. So about probably about a year from now, I'm going to try to compete again. So Well, we're looking forward to seeing you. And thank you so much for being here with us today. You definitely have been an inspiration to me and I know many others. So Great. thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Well, the University of Akron is so proud to have Nathan Birkin as an alum here. And I know he'll continue to inspire others throughout his journey. Back to you guys in the studio.